She stood accused of illegally misusing public funds, spending thousands of dollars on elaborate meals. Now on Sunday, Sarah Netanyahu was convicted by a Jerusalem court. The wife of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu charged, alongside a government employee, of spending roughly $100,000 on catering from expensive restaurants between 2010 and 2013. In a plea deal, Netanyahu admitted to spending around half of that and exploiting the mistake of another person's misuse of public funds. She will pay some $15,000 in fines to the state. The significance of this ruling is that any person with access to public funds, as senior as they may be, cannot use it as their own. Taking significant amounts of public funds over several years in violation of the rules and procedures is a criminal felony with a conviction and a real fiscal penalty. Never far from her husband's side at public events, Sarah Netanyahu is no stranger to controversy. In addition to the Ford case, she's faced mistreatment accusations from employees. She is currently being sued by a former cleaner, while in 2016 a court awarded $47,000 in damages to an ex-housekeeper who accused her of bullying. Sunday's ruling brings to a close one of the longest-running cases against the family, yet her husband is still up against some more serious corruption allegations. Benjamin Netanyahu is due to appear at a pre-trial hearing in October on charges of fraud and bribery. He denies all accusations as part of a media witch hunt.